So in this example, we're going to be looking at the amplitude and frequency of this signal here, which is displayed on an oscilloscope. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the amplitude, which is what we measure on the y-axis. And this is where we use the volts per division. So what it says here is that each centimetre, so these are centimetre grid lines, each centimetre represents, in this case, 5 volts. And we want to know the amplitude. So we're going to work out the total height of this wave. Now, um, it's kind of sort of halfway between this. So basically what we have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 full squares, a half square here and a half square there. So we've got 7 squares, each of which is equal to 5 volts. Okay, so 7 times 5 is just 35. But that's the total from the trough to the peak. If we're looking at the amplitude, we're going to be looking at effectively um, the midpoint to that height. So the amplitude of this wave is going to be equal to half that value, which is 17.5 volts. So this might be a 17.5 volt AC supply. But what's its frequency? Well, to work out the frequency, we need to know the time period. Okay, And the time period is the time for one complete wave cycle. In this case, um, we could go from this point to this point, but it might be easier to measure from peak to peak. Now again, on this it says that each centimetre, so each one of the squares here, is equal to 2 milliseconds. Often when we're looking at frequencies, we have very short time periods. And this little m, just like you have in millimetres, just means milliseconds. So um, I'm going to say this is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 full squares. I've got half a square there and half a square there. So again, that's going to be equal to 7 squares. Each one is equal to 2 milliseconds. Uh, so that's 0 0.002 of a second. And 7 times 0 0.002 is equal to 0 0.014 seconds. So I've converted from milliseconds into seconds. The equation that we need to work out the frequency is that frequency is equal to 1 over the time period. Uh, so I'm just going to use my calculator to say 1 divided by 0 0.014 is equal to 71.4, so I'm just going to round that to 71 to two significant figures. And therefore the frequency of this supply is 71 hertz. So what we're looking at is a 17.5 volt, 71 hertz AC supply displayed on this oscilloscope. 